Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Krieger US40 Rack Pack. This is the most recent addition to Krieger's dry pack range of waterproof bags, and it's the biggest of them yet with a 40 litre capacity. I've used this bag here for around 700 miles on a couple of different bikes, so I can give you an idea of what it is, what it's meant to do, and also whether it lives up to that ideal. The bulk of the bag is made from 420 denier Cordura with tougher Hyperlon sections on the top and also on the base. It's got Krieger's customary roll top closures at either end of the back, just here, and then these flaps and straps secure over the top to hold them in place. On the inside, there's a removable waterproof liner, so by rolling up those ends and clicking the bag shut, you know your stuff on the inside is gonna stay dry. On top, there are all manner of clips and loops to mount it to the bike and the bag comes with eight different straps to fit it. It's called a rack pack, but you don't need to have a rack on your bike for this to work for you. If you don't have a rack, four of those eight straps can attach to your bike's subframe or under your pillion seat, and that gives you securing loops. And then the other four straps are like this. So they clip to the bag just here, and then you have these loops on the other end that attach to the subframe loops. If you have a rack, rather than needing to use the subframe loops, you just use these, wrap it around the rack, hook it onto this loop here, pull the strap tight, and then it's mounted as you need it to be done. Then there are loads of other loops that let you attach Krieger bags and accessories if you want more storage space, or also things like carrying holders for water bottles. And then on top of that, there's an extra section between the top and the main compartment, which is what Krieger have put there to stow tent poles of up to 50 centimeters in length. I don't think it's compulsory to put tent poles in there, I actually think it would be quite useful for things like waterproof liners from your riding kit so they're easy to get to when you need them in a hurry. On the inside of this bag the total capacity is 40 litres and loaded up to its fullest it's 650mm long, 205mm tall and then 300mm wide. But you don't have to load it to full capacity. If you give those roll tops a few extra twists, then the US 40 effectively becomes a US 28, giving you 28 litres of room for your stuff. And that shortens the bag from 650 mil to 480 millimetres. I found that loading it up in that configuration, so shorter, allowed the bag to sit slightly taller as well. So in some ways it was actually easier to find my stuff in there. Like I said earlier, I used this bag for around 700 miles, including a 500 mile trip through the Cotswolds and Wales. I had it on the back seat of a Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT and I had no problem attaching the bag using the straps provided. Now this bit might just be my personal taste but I wanted a more defined base for the bag as it was going to be a full extension and that would mean it was going to jut out a fair way either side of the pillion seat and I didn't want the bag slumping down over the sides of the bike so I just got busy with some scissors and a fruit box that I got from the local supermarket and putting that in the bottom gave it a base that would maintain the structure. So that worked well and it meant the bag could sit flat across the seat without falling down either side of the bike. Now I think Krieger have camping riders in mind for this bag and it's probably ideal for carting around your camping kit. This bag can be loaded up to be quite wide, it takes quite a lot of stuff as well and the thing with camping kit is you don't need to get to it until the end of your riding day. For my trip I found it wasn't particularly easy to get to bits and bobs in the bag during the day's riding as I had to undo one of the sides and then reach inside to get to my bits and bobs. Now a couple of methods that I learned during my trip. Firstly think about what you might want during the day and if you can make sure it's near one of the ends that makes it much easier to get to it without rummaging through everything in the bag. And then on top of that try and load the bag onto the bike so that the end with those bits you want to get to is on the same side of the bike as the back brake pedal, not the same side of the bike as the side stand. That way the bag is pointing upwards when you open it, which means gravity is going to hold your stuff in the bag rather than trying to pour it out all over the road. Now I found when I made it to the end of each day on my trip, I also had to empty the bag completely to get to any stuff in there that I wanted. In hindsight, it wasn't best suited to carry my stuff for a few days away and a bag with a top opening would have made it more convenient for me to get to my bits and bobs without fully unloading the bag. But it was easy to attach this bag to the bike, it stayed secure, it kept my kit dry on a rainy day, and I wish I'd discovered that pouch under there for the tent poles, because I think that would have come in useful for storing a few bits and pieces that I could have got to through the day a lot more easily. So those are my thoughts on the Krieger US40, which costs £169 as we record this video, and comes with a 10-year warranty, which means you know you're gonna get good backup in the rare event of a fault developing. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger US40, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching. 